Welcome back to the inaugural World Urban Games held in Budapest, Hungary. The three-day multi-sport event was in full flow by the time the roller freestyle competition got underway. The sport sees skaters performing tricks and acrobatic routines in a purpose-built freestyle park, with each competitor receiving two runs of 50 seconds to try and impress the judges. We caught up with one of the world's best. Hey, I'm Joe Atkinson. I'm from Pontefract, West Yorkshire, and I'm the current world champion roller freestyle skater. I started skating when I was four years old, just skating down the street with my friends, and then my parents took me to the local skate park. And from there, I was like, wow, this is insane. And uh, yeah, from there, I was just like, yeah, stuck to it. And uh, now I'm here. 22 years later as the world champion, coming to all these events, traveling 10 months a year. So yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. Joe just missed out on a place on the podium at the World Urban Games as France's Romain Abrat claimed victory following a stellar first run. But for athletes in roller freestyle, there's other aspects of the sport that are just as important as the competition. Well as self-discipline, it's also yeah, like pushing yourself and and um, yeah, it's a very creative thing to be to do, you know. And you're always like bettering yourself and and learning new stuff. And yeah, it's it's a really positive thing to be involved with. And it's also it's a big uh, community, a big scene. It's a, it's also about the social aspect. One of the most dynamic and exciting disciplines in the sports world today, parkour was a natural fit for the first edition of the World Urban Games. There were two different disciplines on display in Budapest, speed and freestyle. The speed event requires athletes to complete the course in the fastest time possible, while the freestyle event is judged on the most creative route taken through the obstacles. As with most of the sports on show here, parkour is high risk and injuries are commonplace. Luckily, some of the unsung heroes of the games were on hand to help out. These chiropractors travel to major sports events all around the world to assist with any niggles and injuries the competitors may have. One of the lesser-known sports at the Urban Games was the flying disc freestyle. Competitors perform choreographed routines set to music and aim to impress the judges with their technical skills with the flying disc. Hi, I'm Emma from Seattle, Washington, and I'm the current world champion freestyle frisbee player and also world Urban Games champion. There are various maneuvers to master, including tipping, brushing and rolling, alongside more outlandish ways of throwing and catching the disc. Yeah, well really it all just kind of evolved out of basic throw and catch, like exactly what you're familiar with, you know, see people playing throw and catch in the park. And then that evolved into like, oh, I can do a trick catch, I can catch it behind my back. I can catch it under my leg. Um, and then that involved into, I can tip it before I do a catch. Or I can even delay the catch by spinning it on my fingernail before I do my catch. So sort of like, it just evolved very organically from just exactly what you're familiar with throwing catch. And over the years, people have developed more and more technical styles and technical moves um, to what we have today. Competitors were representing their nation in mixed pairs with their routines combining various aspects of gymnastics and dance. Emma and her partner, Daniel O'Neill, wowed the crowd with their routine to win the inaugural Flying Disc Freestyle title. There's definitely a big push to keep growing the sport. A lot of forward momentum right now. Being here at this event is a huge step. Lots of people who have never seen our sport before are seeing it, and there's been a really great response, which is awesome. You know, you just start simple, under the leg catch, and you can just really grow from there. So I think it's definitely going places. 
Join us again on next week's show when we'll be taking a closer look at some of the urban events that will be making an appearance at future Olympic Games. 